Hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're gonna compare two different types of foiling and we're gonna start off by using some deco foil and some stencils. We're gonna use the Heidi Swap Mink Foil called Silver Squares, Thermo Webs Foil called Iridescent and Opal. And why I'm doing this video is because when I looked for these types of foils I couldn't find a video showing how they looked. So I really wanted to create this video so you have a chance to see how they look in action before you buy them. Because they are absolutely beautiful but there are some differences in this type of foil. So here you can see the packaging. You can see the Heidi Swap one is a lot larger than the... Uh, foil from Thermoweb, so it's more on that roll and on this one. This comes in a pack of five sheets. I believe they are 6 by 12 Here is a stencil from Hero Arts that we're gonna start to create our first card with. I'm gonna use some deco tape, deco tape, thermo web tape <laughs> to keep this stencil in place while we are doing our um technique here where we are gonna foil i'm use, using a piece of scrap paper underneath this is some uh, uh, printing paper that i just have a lot of in my stash really in, inexpensive and i can just throw it away when i'm done with it i'm using a spatula here just to make sure that this surface turn out as smooth as possible if you have a larger scrape that would be actually ideal I'm waiting for my mine. I have ordered one, but it haven't come yet. So I am excited to see if it's going to be a difference when I'm foiling later on. You will see here how it turns out when I'm peeling this off. And it's important when you're using this type of medium that you are cleaning your stencil right away. Uh, because if, it, if you let it dry on top of uh, any surface really, you're going to have a trouble uh, removing it later. So make sure that you are uh, cleaning off your um, tools right away. So this stencil is from uh, Tim Holtz collection and it's a newer one. And I don't know exactly what it's called, but I think it's called lace something. It's really beautiful, and I, uh, you, I'm sure you will find this if you search for uh, Tim Holtz stencils. I think it was released now in uh, Mars or yeah, whatever. It's it's released now, <laughs> and it's a newer one. So here I created my own stencil. I just die cut a piece of uh, paper. And I'm gonna use this adhering it down to my panel this was actually a leftover from a previous project that is why it was cut in a bad angle if I had known I was gonna do this I would have cut it uh, in the center of the paper so I didn't have to mask that much you can see the dye here it's from CSEC and I will now go over it with the same texture paste making sure that this is really smooth since this is a larger opening in this uh, homemade stencil I was really careful making sure that it was covered and that it had a smooth surface because I know from experience that uh, the foiling is going to get better if there is a smooth uh, surface to stick to. So I can see myself use this technique over and over because you probably have a lot of dyes in your stash as well and imagine what you can do with all of those die cuts if you are doing stencils with them and using this transfer gel uh, from Decofoil and it's amazing uh, the results you can get. So here I had let this dry, I actually let some of these dry overnight and you can see when they are done because they are gonna be um, I believe you can say translucent they are gonna be clear see-through you cannot you will barely see that it's there and then I'm gonna create my pocket here for the foiling I'm using a carrier sheet that I created myself and um, also some I don't know what you're calling it in English but maybe baking paper uh, and a piece of uh, paper as well that acts like a shim to give it a little bit more pressure and I'm just playing around with my lighting and my laminator and I will run this to, uh, through twice just to make sure that my foiling got a lot of heat and then I will let it cool down and then we're gonna really reveal how this looks and I think this is absolutely stunning and this is the one from Heidi Swap 
called Silver Squares. And I hope the camera is picking it up because it is so beautiful and it transferred perfectly. I had no missed spots at all. I had some overfoiling at some parts, but I will show you a trick on how to uh, remove that foil in a second here when we are doing the other panels. So really beautiful. I love this foil. So you can see me do the same process again here. I'm taking my piece. This is the one with the Tim Holtz stencil, the opal foil from Thermoweb and my carrier sheath here. And I will run this through my laminator twice and then we can reveal how it looks. So this is really simple and I think this is one of my favorite techniques because uh, the result is always so beautiful. And you can see here I have run through the one that we created with our own stencil. You can see here I had some overfoiling, but let me show you how I fixed that in a second. And this is the one called Iridescent from Thermoweb and it's absolutely beautiful. I love the shine that that gives. And here is the opal one. And this one, since it's, um, if you had used another surface, I believe that you will have like um, the, sh the color showing through of course so make sure that you know what surface you are using and if you would use a toner from a printer I believe that you will see some black through that so I think this opal one is really good for this technique when you're using just a white or actually that it's dry it's clear so you will see the color underneath and it will give it through uh, the true color and the true effect of this uh, foil. So here I'm just going in with my X-Acto knife and carefully um, taking away all the excess foils. And you can go over this with a um, with a eraser later on, just to make sure that the surface is smooth. And you can see it, it was a really good idea that I made sure that this uh, was uh, a flat surface with no bumps in it because then we would have seen it in this large surface and here you can see a closer look at the shine and the foil I hope the camera is picking up it's a little bit hard to see I, I can see it on my screen here as well but it's absolutely amazing in real life and I hope you can see the differences this is the Heidi Swap one with uh, uh, silver squares uh, and that is uh, really different from the one iridescent from Charmo Web that is more smooth. So now we will go in and create our cards and this one, if I had known exactly what I was going to do, I probably would have done this before I um, did my laminating or even before I did my um, like foiling and the texture paste or whatever because you can see that some parts didn't go perfectly on but I think it was good enough and I just cut this out with a wonky stitched rectangle from MFT and I love how this turned out and I'm in need of a lot of baby cards so I actually used my scan and cut and cut out a baby uh, and then I adhere it. What is fun about the scanning cut is that you actually can decide what size you want this to be in and so I can custom made it to fit on top of this card perfectly. Uh, the cloud dies are also from W plus 9, it's an older one. And here is the opal one, I just love how this turned out. I will cut down the sides and here is a fun a little container that I always keep on my desk. This is one where I keep all my leftover pieces from previous projects that I haven't used. For example, this balloon never made it to a project and I was thinking on having it on this one. This congrats die is really delicate and beautiful. It's from MFT and that is the one I will go for actually. And this thanks one that you didn't get to see is from C6. So here I just stack that up a couple of times with some white cardstock and that created some more stability and dimension. For this card I kept it pretty simple. I just I cut down the panel to give it a little bit of a white border and then I used a die, a new die set for me from Concord and Ninth. 
it's a part of their February release. It's beautiful if you haven't checked that one out. So here is a closer look at all of our projects that we created today. This is the one from Thermoweb called Iridescent. This is the Opal one, again beautiful. And the last one, I think that is actually my favorite one, is from Heidi Swap called Silver Squares. And all of these products uh, transferred perfectly and I think they gave a really fun result and I hope you liked this project. If you did, please subscribe to my channel if, uh, if you want to. And also it would mean a lot to me if you leave me a comment or give me a thumb up. Thank you so much for watching and I see you next time. Bye!